Hi, I'm Corey Williams, plant manager at Dearborn Truck Plant. For more than 100 years, the historic Roosite Complex has produced some of the most world-famous vehicles, from the Model A, the Mustang, to the F-150. And I'm excited to say soon, the Rouge will be producing the truck of the future, the electric Ford F-150 Lightning. This vehicle is defining a new era for Rouge and Ford's commitment to manufacturing. The F-150 Lightning will be built at the new Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, a 500,000 square foot building with nearly 18,000 yards of concrete and 5,600 tons of steel. It was built on the foundation of the former Dearborn Assembly Plant, linking the site's past to its future as we look ahead towards another century of innovation. Ford is investing $700 million into the historic Rouge complex and is adding 500 new direct jobs to build the F-150 Lightning at the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center, along with the F-150 Power Boost Hybrid that is built at the Dearborn Truck Plant located right next door. Construction of the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center is well underway. The exterior is finished and we're now in the process of moving machinery into the building and installing the tooling that will be used to build the F-150 Lightning. The interior will look much different than its next door neighbor, Dearborn Truck Plant. There won't be any conveyors on the plant floor. Instead, automated guided carriers will move the vehicle from workstation to workstation like a well-choreographed ballet. And the great thing about this is our flexibility in production. When customer demand goes up, we can flex our production with these automated guided carriers and we don't have to physically take a conveyance line and move it. Ford's commitment to manufacturing includes a commitment to manufacturing sustainably. We're proud that Ford's Rouge Electric Vehicle Center utilizes many leading environmental innovations to reduce waste and save water and energy. Like the Dearborn truck plant, the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center is a zero waste to landfill site. That means that none of the material generated as a byproduct of the manufacturing process will go to landfill. We've even built rooms, recycle rooms, sorting rooms, so we can sort, get it to the right place to be recycled, and eventually use again. We'll also have a wood pallet shredder, producing a recyclable material from the wood pallets that were previously considered non-recyclable. The building is heated and cooled using a direct expansion cooling system, with air being the primary media instead of water-based system. This significantly reduces the use of the water and the associated waste, energy consumption, and processing for water-cooled systems. The building uses natural light along with LED to reduce overall energy footprint. The F-150 Lightning won't be the only machine in the building with zero emissions. The primary forklift truck fleet will use hydrogen fuel cells. Even the foundation and the dirt the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center sits on is recycled. During the construction process, the concrete and other compatible construction materials were crushed and moved off-site, then reapplied on-site as a part of the needed foundations. This technology is state-of-the-art, and it is the technology that has taken us to the next level. Ford has invested in our future, and the F-150 Lightning and the Rouge Electric Vehicle Center are prime examples of progress on our path to be carbon neutral company by 2050. The plant workers take a lot of pride in the F-150. The fact that the electric F-150 is being built here at the historic Rouge site means something to us and our community. We're excited to take manufacturing into the future with the F-150 Lightning that is built for America, built for tough, and built for proud.